On this episode of the podcast, I'm going to talk about free shipping, DAGs, and dodgy boxes. We're back. We're back to being jovial versus some peaks here. I don't really don't know how I feel about that. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another edition of the Luke Who's Talking podcast with me, Luke. Sam, did you hear that? Slightly amended intro there is the little thingy beep still at the A friend of mine, Sam, right? He reckons at the end of the intro jingle there, there's a little like beep sort of thing happening. I seriously have never heard it. I don't know. Him and his mum reckon it's a thing. I reckon they're telling lies. It's all lies. Lies. Now, let's get into... Actually, no, you know what? Ruse room. Let's get into it quickly. I reckon Sam reckons it's a whole thing just so he can get onto the podcast and talk about it. What do you reckon? Is that ruse room worthy? We haven't had a ruse room for like ages, but anyway. What do you reckon? We're in it? We're in the ruse room? That's what I reckon. Anyway, let's get out of the ruse room and get on to the first story. If you can, like, can you even call it a story? Yeah, why not? So, I was having a geezer on a website uh, the other day and on there I noticed it said that they had free shipping on orders over a particular price shipping on orders uh, free shipping I should say on orders over about 60 bucks right 60 dollar dollar dues that's fine free shipping it's great right I've got nothing wrong with free shipping however the thing here is that Everything on this website I could see, except actually one item, was over $60. Yeah, everything on this website except for one item was over 60 bucks. So they're like, okay, you're going to have free shipping on everything we sell except this one thing, which probably costs $59.95. <laughs> Seriously, I thought that was hilarious. Actually, I'm just gonna, just gonna, just there we go. Just gonna do that. There we go. Just tone that down a little bit. Um, yeah. So I was looking on this website, and everything on there is over sixty bucks. Why don't they just say, "Hey, we have free shipping on all of on all of our items, except actually one thing I found that doesn't have free shipping." But apart from that, we've got free shipping on everything my god just just say you've got free shipping seriously my goodness i'm actually sitting here and i've gotten really hot all of a sudden so i'm going to take like my socks off or something like that and um we're going to get into the next story and i'll be sockless at least maybe no i'll be i'll be sockless i'll be sockless yeah I am now sockless. I'm sock free, one hundred percent sock free. And it, oh, actually, it's good. It's good. Oh, now um, I believe I've mentioned this before. I'm actually working on a matrix to add in what topics and things I've um, talked about. So when I go, uh, I think I've talked about this before briefly. I can actually refer back to the matrix and go. Uh, yeah, I talked about that on episode, you know, 25 or whatever, so I've got a, got a bit of a grid happening, so I'm uh, slowly working on that, so I can, I know what I've talked about. However, I think I may have talked about this before, or at least aspects of it. Now, some of you may know that I am involved in a consumer, we are a consumer reference group. Mm, we're a group of diabetics, uh, and we are, are cons and we are a consumer reference group. So basically, we just yell at uh, doctors and say, ah, uh, well, yell at doctors? Yell at people and say, oh, I don't really know if, if that's that's what you know we want as consumers, as diabetics and consumers of um, the, the service and things that the hospital provides. Do we really want that? I don't know. How about we have uh, we have it like this? Anyway, so we're, just, we're a voice for um, diabetics in the health system and we're sort of uh the ball's rolling on some things which is which is good we're starting to get our name out there etc and now talking about names we have settled we have finally settled on a name and we are called 
<laughs> We're called Dag. <laughs> Excuse me. Dag. Yep. Dag. Taz. Now, the Dag means diabetic advocacy. I can't say this word. Advocacy group. So we are Dag. Taz. Yeah. So you. Oh, where are we? We're on Twitter. You can tweet us, Dag, Dag Taz on Twitter, or follow us, whatever. But, um, oh, there's a bus bus going past. Can you hear it? And let's, what is it, like 3.30? Annoying twerpy kids are going home from school. But, yeah, so we, we've got a name. We've settled on a name. I've got to say, coming up with a name and settling on a name was a bit of work, but we managed to do it. So we've got a name. We're Dag Taz, and um, hopefully we're going to be able to get out there and just start yelling about um, you know things that we feel are important to us as consumers, as uh, diabetics, etc. And maybe uh, some people might go, ah, that that um, yeah, cool. Let's back it. And I don't know whatever else corp what do corporate people do when you say, ah, oh, you know. Get behind, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, yeah, so we've said it on a name, we're Dag, Dag Taz for Diabetic Advocacy Group, Tasmania, and um, so hopefully we're going to do some good things, but we'll see what happens, we will see. <laughs> so have you ever just, uh, I'm sure what uh, what I'm going to talk about next has happened to many a person. I'm pretty confident I'm not the only person that this has happened to. But I was uh, I was giving my brother a hand with some stuff, moving some things around in his garage, and uh, there's a couple couple of boxes, wooden boxes, which were well, like um, drawers, really old drawers that just had various bits of junk in them. Anyway, so there was because uh, we had to move his workbench, so we took everything off it, or 90% of the stuff off the workbench, so it didn't weigh, you know, a ton, so we could shift it to, to its new place in the in the garage, in his, well, in his shed, actually. So I picked up this box, and what happened when I picked it up? Oh, the bottom of it went, and all those chains, it was full of chains and um, shackles and that sort of stuff. Oh, on the floor. So I had an empty box in my hand, a dodgy box, and um, yeah, there was just chains and dirt and stuff on the ground. And I was like, ah, oh, no, nah. I'd left it there. I wasn't going to pick it. <laughs> I was just, no, nah. I was done. I was like, oh, I'm not going to pick that up. But it was like within two seconds, oh, I got it off. Oh, floor's gone, bottom of it's gone, stuff all on the ugh, stuff on the uh, ground. My goodness, gracious me! It's just junk, junk everywhere. Why do people have so much junk in their garages for? All oh, like chain, like why do you need all these chains? These huge, there was like huge big D shackles there. You'd have like on a ship, you'd have them on a boat or something. Why do you have them? They're too, they're like ridiculously sized. You wouldn't even need them if you were, if you, I don't know, vehicle was stuck. You wouldn't even whip them out to tow out your car if she was bogged up to the rear end. God, or tractor even. Oh, that would be huge. And they're just random lengths of chains, random sizes of chains. Oh, you just take it all down to scrap heap, but eh. I took the box went to the scrap heap, that's for sure. But yeah, I just picked it up. Oh, stuff's not in it anymore. Instantly. God. But get this. There was also a styrofoam box, and I picked it up and I thought, oh, this is gonna be a bit dicey. Didn't break at all. So there we go. Styrofoam is stronger than wood and nails. I can tell you that for sure. Styrofoam's stronger than wood and nails. And that was full of like chains and all that sort of junk as well. So you've heard it here first. If somebody's going to build something out of wooden nails, say, ah, 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 no, you should be using styrofoam because it's uh, stronger. And you can tell them I told them. And if they don't believe it, I'll argue with them. There you go. Refer people to me. 
Well, that is it for this episode of the podcast. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, back to the norm. Can I say the norm after uh, the la- our last episode? It was a bit more deep. I'm trying to you know get a bit more jovial as usual. Of course, you can tweet me l underscore who's talking on the Facebooks, and you can send me an email as well. Luke who's talking pod at gmail dot com. Hope you enjoyed it as always, and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.